So one thing that I've been uh, meaning to do, and that is to pull the uh, hydro, the old hydrostatic drive out of um, a part out of, that was in my ride-on. Um, so this one broke, and we replaced it with the part out of my dad's one. So this is a tough torque hydrostatic drive unit. I might have got that wrong, but and it's a K now they make 90% of all differentials for ride-ons in the world. And of all the ones they make, the K46, which is this one, is their most popular differential to make. So this I, I am surprised this has failed because it is one of the most popular hydrostatic drive units that's ever made in all ride-ons. So it's going to be very interesting to see what is actually wrong with this inside. So the first thing we actually need to do is drain the oil out of this. So I'll just say I have actually pulled this drive unit apart previously. Um, a long time ago though, but um, basically it was, it was leaking oil, or leaked enough oil out, out of the, the seals here in the end. And um, that, that oil's draining now. Um, and so basically leaked all the oil out and stopped working. And I put some oil in it and it sort of worked for a while, but it still leaked out. So then I, quite lucky here in New Zealand, the actual uh, service agent for all torque talk turf units actually is in Hamilton. And so I was able to get some parts without any problem, a couple of seals. I was basically able to replace the uh, the seals very quickly and easily without much effort, um, and it's never leaked ever since. So um, clearly, I think there was a manufacturer they put it to wrong here that could have sort of leaked ever since I got it. Really, um, or oh, shortly thereafter I got it started leaking. So that's still draining out, but we can leave that draining out, and I'm going to take the uh, bolts off around the top here and we can pull the cover off and have a look at the reason why this uh, unit has failed. Before I flip this thing over and take the cover off I just want to show you um, the four things that actually penetrate into the uh, into the case. This is the drive unit so this comes from the engine pulley and this is turning all the time when the engine's going um, and obviously the faster you go the faster this go but uh, even when it's idling this is still turning. This one here is your gear forward and back, so you push it forward on your foot on the um, ride-on, it moves this forward, and if you push backwards on the ride-on, that will go backwards. Then you have this one here, which is the engaged disc gauge. Uh, engaged disc gauge. So you basically you have to have that forward like that, but if um, there's a little lever that comes out the back of the ride, if you pull that lever, it basically puts it in neutral, so you can push right on round um, with it and like that it basically the oil's locked and you can't actually push the wheels very hard at all and the final thing over here is the brake so this just um, as you put your foot on the brake this lever it goes to a lever and pulls this so those are the four things I'll and as we flip it over and talk about it um, you'll see that how these four levers four devices come into the actual casing of the the K46 differential Oh dear, it's um, very silvery in here, very silvery indeed. Whatever's failed has gone through the whole drive. So we can see here this is the differential 
I'll turn one side here and um, you can see that and the other side's turning the opposite direction. That's just like any normal differential. Um, there is a bit of play in there but that's fine. Um, we have this cog here which isn't sitting in because I just flicked it but there we go. Um, now up here <coughs> is the brakes. So you can see there's two little brake pads one there and one on the other side and that lever underneath if I can reach it basically turns that and pushes the brake pads over and then squashes on both sides of that so that's pretty much how the brake works now the neutral lever now this is the um, drive pump and so the other there's basically two two oil pumps they're very similar. One's the drive that drives this, but one that comes from the engine that pumps the oil that goes to that. And the basically the way you put it in neutral is, if I can reach under here, so flick, flick it into neutral, and you can see the gap. A gap has opened up here. And that little gap is what lets the oil out of here instead of pushing these pistons out. Uh, and that basically puts it in neutral for you. There we go, it goes back. So you can see these pistons here as they turn around. So as oil pumps into them, this is actually on an angle. I'll, I'll show you this in more detail later on. It's a very simple sort of thing, but it, basically they are, as you can see further down, they are squashed up. So oil pumps into those ones as this turns around and then makes them long. And then once they get to this point here, the oil is free to go back in again. And so it's a recirculating pump. So high pressure goes into, into the ones that are squashed up. And that basically they run up here and then that makes that drive turn around. Um, and pretty much the opposite things down happens down this end. Oil comes up here, gets sucked in through here. This is the bottom, and we're upside down. And um, as you adjust this, it adjusts the plate like that. I'll show you that very soon. And the question is, what has gone wrong? Well, I have a feeling that this was so blocked that no oil could get up into it. So therefore, nothing could work. Um, I've already cleaned this now, so... Um, <clears throat> I'll take this off so everyone can have a look. Right, so we've got all that apart now. Um, so this is the forward and backwards. Just leave it here. And as you push forward and backwards, this tilts. As you can see, that it's tilting. And this is the drive pump. So that sits on like that, and obviously as it tilts, some of these these will push up and down as a pump. And if it's on an angle like that, then the ones that are on the angle, more angle, get have pressure. So if you look at this side, there's, it's like that. So only oil flows in certain sides, and oil flows out other holes as it turns around. There's the bottom of... Uh, in an in and flow and an outflow, and that's adjustable by pushing your pedal on the uh, forward or reverse lever on the right on. And so there's high pressure and low pressure sides on this, and that's all done depending on the angle of this. 
so that's the, the drive pump basically and then the, um, the motor pump over here is exact the motor pump over here is exactly the same except this angle is set it doesn't change so you change the speed by the drive motor um, the, the pump motor not the drive motor which is this one this is set to a certain angle and that just goes as it goes so I hope that explains exactly how these K46s work. All very simple for a hydrostatic drive really. Just basically two oil pumps. Uh, one driving at the same speed all the time and then basically the flow output from it changes depending on your pedal position on the thing. Now I can't see anything wrong with any of the stuff. Um, my main thing that I think that's happened was that there was so much stuff clogged up in it that the, it couldn't pick up any oil through this because this was well blocked. I cleaned that up. I've cleaned that up now. That was just clogged. So no oil could get up into the drive motor, the pump motor. So um, that's all I can see. Everything else seems to be in good condition. There's nothing that seems to be broken. There's a lot of, certainly a lot of uh, goo in here. And there was a lot of little bits of metal, but I've cleaned all those out. Anyway, that's just a simple overview of what a K46 a hydrostatic drive pump looks like from TorqueTurf. Hope that's uh, interesting to anyone. So you can actually buy kits for these to redo them. Um, and pretty pretty cheap if you want to redo one of these things. But uh, since I put the other one in, the other one's working fine. I'm not planning to do anything with this one at this stage. This is basically spare parts. But I thought people might be interested to see what one looks like inside. Anyway, I think these drive units are relatively uh, simple. They may look complicated, but um, once you pull one apart and have a good look at them, there's not actually a huge amount to them and how they work. And uh, if you have one that uh, basically slows down and gets, um, it seems like it's tired, they're actually relatively easy to rebuild. Um, you can buy rebuild kits for them, do all the seals of them, um, put new oil, clean them all out and put new oil on them and away you go and I would suggest that um, most people would be able to do one of these quite easily actually so anyway there's a pretty, pretty much a breakdown of the K46 uh, Tough Talk drive unit and um, thanks for watching and please like and subscribe <laughs>